The Sign Zone begins in just a few moments here on BBC One and BBC One HD, starting with a new project that's helping deaf people with dementia. <laughs> Well, hope you're wrapped up warm for the latest weather view with Rob McKelvey. Right, let's walk ahead a few days and see if things change. They may do, they may do, but not necessarily in the way you particularly want them to. But for the immediate future, we remain as we have been for a few days and possibly in a worse condition. The isobars are now tight, so you'll have noticed the wind has picked up and wind chill is a significant problem for us, for humans and animals. Weather warning then encompasses snow and ice, and the ice is not disappearing that quickly. The temperatures are not being allowed to rise. We're importing even colder air and frequent showers. The focus in the last few hours has been Lincolnshire, Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire. That focus will change northeastwards once again during Wednesday. A cold start is a city centre temperature, so it's minus 5 to 7 in rural areas. Now, during Wednesday, all inland showers are going to be as snow, and the focus, as I say, goes north of the Humber once again, really concentrating on Tyneside. But late in the day, I think, might cross the northern lakes. The picture at three in the afternoon, the sun should be out over the snow fields, as they will be, of Lincolnshire, and that wind chill will be severe. In East Anglia and southeast corner, a flurry or two still in Kent and Surrey, maybe Hampshire, but beyond that, it looks dry, and you have the sunshine for Devon and Cornwall and bits of Somerset and Wales. A wonderful thought as long as you're under glass and don't feel the wind, otherwise it'll make absolutely no difference at all. Coming through Wales, we pick up the snow that's formed in showers over the relatively warm Irish Sea, so for the Isle of Man, the southeast of Northern Ireland, there will be snow showers again. As for Scotland, the west has been severely cold and still will be tomorrow, but the east, particularly the eastern highlands, still catch showers, the build-up of more than half a metre, which already exists after all. Of course, I haven't mentioned drifting, maybe that's self-evident. Wednesday night and Thursday, snow showers in the same place, but potentially quite a dump in the southeast corner, in possibly including London, and a really cold night, minus four to minus six in cities. Thursday sees the winds ease a little bit and turn in direction slightly as well, which changes the direction in which the snow comes in. Uh, I don't think it'll make a huge difference to most of us during Thursday. It'll stay cold. There will be snow around, but Friday's probably the biggest change. Where this won't go, I have to admit the change isn't that quickly, but um, not much more a fall. But on Thursday, got the potential trouble in the southeast corner. Showers anywhere else. High temperatures around about zero. Still think of wind chill, but not quite as severely. I mentioned there might be a change come the weekend. No change here, really. It's cold, possibly even freezing fog. Maybe no snow at all. It might be quiet on Friday and Saturday. Come down to the middle of England, well, Leeds, Manchester, Coventry and Cambridge. It's quite a big stretch. Friday, snow is possible. Saturday, rather less likely. No warmth there to speak of. And Cardiff, Reading and Brighton. Well, maybe that's the hint. Plymouth and Brighton, four to six degrees sleet or rain on Saturday. That might just happen. If so, it's going to be the start of a messy change to milder wet weather with a fairly rapid thaw. I don't want to see that too quickly, do you? If you're driving in snow, think. The weather. Conversations about the weather. Kylie Minogue. Barbara Windsor. Don Bradman. Ian Botham. Shane Warne. Andrew Flintoff. Winning the Ashes. Winning them down under. Sometimes it's the little things that matter the most. The Ashes continues Thursday night from 11.30 on BBC Radio 5 Live Sports Extra. In half an hour here on The Sign Zone, tough experiences with the six most talented cooks in the semi-finals of MasterChef The Professionals. Now on BBC One and BBC One HD, see here.